They tell us we have to stand by and watch tragedy after tragedy unfold in our communities. They say we can't stop domestic terrorism without violating the Second Amendment. I'm here to say that's a lie. Our ability to make a more perfect union is literally written into the Constitution. So today, I'm proposing the 28th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Yeah, this is... No, <laughs> that was Gavin Newsom's latest dump of garbage, the 28th Amendment. Oh, but don't worry. He says it won't affect your Second Amendment rights at all. Sure. The four proposals the California governor is for is raising the minimum age to purchase a gun to 21. Maybe we should do it for voting, too. Universal background checks. Yeah, okay. A, quote, reasonable waiting period for gun purchases. Well, considering the U.S. government still uses fax machines, that could be 10 years. And banning the civilian purchase of assault weapons, which nobody can seem to define. With some of the strictest gun laws in the country, you, Gavin Newsom, still had a wave of mass shootings in the first weeks of 2023. Don't you understand? The ones who suffer from these laws aren't criminals. It's law-abiding Americans. Americans that criminals will walk right over because they're always going to find a way to do damage. Look at what just happened in France. A mass stabbing. So, Sir Gavin, don't call these common sense safety measures. You're not enforcing safety for anyone. For more on this, I want to bring in Tudor Dixon, host of the Tudor Dixon podcast and former Michigan gubernatorial candidate, and K. Smythe, writer for the Daily Caller and host of K Saves the USA. Tudor, why do they keep taking guns from the people who don't use them for bad things? Well, I just find it interesting that you have Gavin Newsom coming out there and saying, don't let them tell you there's no answer to this. Look at MSU. It's an example of when we, if we had actually prosecuted crime, we wouldn't have had a shooting. So this is a man who wants to let any criminal get out of out of jail for anything they do. He doesn't want to have anybody accountable for their actions, but he says this is the only answer. No, that's not the only answer. How about we have law and order? How about we have safe communities? There are alternatives, but Gavin Newsom doesn't want you to know that. This is a slippery slope. We know what they're trying to do. We have got to stop this when we before it starts. Yeah. Now, Kay, you have made a shocking amount of premonition in your writing over the last two years. And this sounded an awful lot like a campaign commercial. Well, I just like, I just picture him writing this, guys. Like, I can just see him in his vineyard. His house somewhere in, I don't know, Sacramento, San Francisco, in some underground bar that no one can get to. He's like, you know what? We gotta, we gotta ban those guns. You know, the big bad ones. What, what, do, you, what do you call them? Assault uh, weapons. He can't spell it. We all know he can't spell it. Um, and then he pays shed loads of money to some production company, puts this together, and yeah, of course it's a campaign commercial. What else is it going to be? <laughs> hey, what is he campaigning for? Uh, but other we, than like a supreme dictator of the entire universe, as yeah, they well, all are. He, him and Stacey Abrams, president of Earth. Uh, Tudor, there was this, you know, we, we talked a little bit about this Southern Poverty Law Center, basically saying if you're a parent and you care about your kid's education, we're going to lump you into the same class as the I don't know, KKK, okay? So they end up going with this new, uh, this new Gallup poll comes out that shows conservatism is at its highest since 2012. It says 38% of Americans say they are conservative and the percentage labeling themselves as liberal has gone down from 34 to 29. So that said, no wonder they're putting their lackeys out like the SPLC and all these Black Lives Matter and stuff to try to squash conservatives. Right. What a shocker when you come out and you say moms are domestic terrorists and they're the biggest danger to the community, that moms who want to protect their kids from, I don't know, pornography are domestic terrorists. Then suddenly people start to say, gosh, maybe I'm not a liberal. Maybe I'm a conservative. I, I mean, I think that women have had to fight for their children yeah. in ways that we never expected in the past few years. But I'm glad that I'm seeing a turn from the women who have said, eh, you know, let it go. Right. Yeah. And, I, and I'm for advocating actually elevating Kamala Harris to get more of this before the 2024 election. But Kay, you have this from Biden today. Look at this. These are our kids. These are our neighbors. It's cruel and it's callous. Not somebody else's kids. They're all our kids. They're the kids that they're, are, and our children are the kite strings that hold our national ambitions aloft. They're not, they're not your kids. They're all of our kids, Kay. Yeah, I think a similar kind of thing was said in China when they were enforcing the one-child rule. 
sorry, we know that you're carrying this child, but actually you're not allowed to do that anymore, so we're going to execute it. But I think in America, what he's clearly pushing for, because this is not the first time that Biden has come out and said this, yeah. they're clearly pushing for the normalization of your children being raised by the state, which means that that line, I mean, it's exactly the same thing that we kind of saw earlier. It's that drip feeding of that normalization that Tudor excellently pointed out that kind of leads to these laws becoming a reality before we can stop them. It's it's so dystopian and terrifying yeah. to Tut think that he's comfortable saying this. Tudor, I got less than 30 seconds left. We're sitting there in an area where these types of people have to realize at some point the more they push like this, the more they lose. Well, we don't want them to realize that because we need to step into that space. We need to educate people. We want the Republicans and the conservatives to wake up and step into that space and start to put this messaging out. Let them continue this. It's not yeah. a winning message for them. It is for us. It is shocking. That, well, you know what? Let them not learn. Tudor, Kay, always a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Coming up.